Hey guys, if you're just joining us, um, we spent an hour, a half an hour ba um, bantering about um, Hollywood, about movies, about comics. So if you want to listen to that, that's already here uh, on the site. We're not going to put that on, on, on our YouTube channel or anything like that. We're just going to leave that here for you guys to enjoy. Listen to two um, comic book guys uh, just muttering on about the industry <laughs> as it is. Now we're going to talk about this amazing book that I really, really love. I just, I really <laughs> enjoy this book. Um, and it's um, Henry the Can Cantankerous Hamster, created by Jason Long. Uh, he's also the writer on this. Um, uh, you're the creator of this, um, Jason, but um, do you, you, do you do the, uh, you do the artwork on this, don't you? Yeah, I, I am the, the artist for, uh, artist and uh, I guess brain person <laughs> um but the writer uh or the one that uh i guess made the story cohesive because I'm, I'm not much of a uh, uh, uh sorry my uh, phone is going crazy <laughs> my apologies um the writer uh was able to weave it all together i kind of like gave him a bunch of like cliff notes and he was able to make it into something because <laughs> uh, i i have a lot of trouble uh uh creating the big picture big picture of a uh, a comic book but that's why i'm the artist and he is the writer <laughs> right. and it's it's very uh it's a very fun book you know the, uh, the comedy side of it it's like it's very energetic and the artwork i mean looking at the artwork here i mean we've included this in the sunspot magazine as well uh just the, um some of the um, standalone um strips and it's just uh, the characters are cool. It's like I mean, you you've got rats, you've got hamsters. Uh, tell us about how this came about. Um, well, the original I think I, I created in college. Uh, it was like a project where we had to we had to make a book. So I just I don't know. I just made a book about a hamster, but then I just thought it'd be funny if he was really pissed off all the time. <laughs> and it wasn't really anything. It, 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 that book has really no founding, uh, like has nothing to do with this comic book. It was just kind of like the, it was the idea. It was like the, the it's pretty much the name came from that. And mm. then coming into this, I, I drew a lot from a lot of my favorite uh, shows as a kid and comic books. Uh, Cause I read, mm. Uh, I read a lot of Barry Ween, Boy Genius uh, when I was younger, mm. uh, probably slightly younger than I should have been. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Invader Zim was probably one of my favorite. Uh, that was like the, uh, I think it was at the tail end of like Nickelodeon's like heyday of yeah. like shows. And like, and Invader Zim was like just at the very end. And then after that, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> after that, it, uh, yeah. it kind of got weird. But SpongeBob carried it through, luckily for them. <laughs> and they're starting to pull it back out again, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much uh, I really wanted to just make something. Uh, it was kind of like maybe sh I, I, it would became stressful in its own right. But it was more like a I didn't really want to have to like it didn't have to be super complicated or it didn't have to have like some crazy plot, but I, I wanted to like evolve into that, but I kind of just wanted to draw something funny uh, and, and try something new. Cause I, I, I really didn't ever draw cartoony stuff. Mm -hmm. It was always, uh, you know, I, I, I as an illustrator, uh, they, you know, it's always figure drawing and, you know, posing and trying to make something uh, look realistic and stuff like that, uh, at least through college. Uh, and I never really got into drawing uh, like just tunes. Uh, so this was my first foray into the, uh, into that. <laughs> and I, and I enjoyed it. I'm still not good at it. It takes me for, which is silly. Uh, Cause I can draw like a figure pretty yeah. fast, but like drawing like, you know, Henry, which is like a, you know, he's a flower sack mm. with arms. It, like it shouldn't take me, it should take me two seconds, <laughs> but for some reason I'm always like, ah, so I don't know. So yeah, I'm I'm still learning as I go, and like I'm still developing the shapes of the character. Like if you look at uh, issue one to two, there's like slight variations, uh, and then issue three, which is on my computer and pretty much done, uh, also is like slightly you know refined. <laughs> like so, 
I, this is more of a, a a journey for me, I guess, just just doing it, you know, <laughs> just yeah. trying to learn how to be kind of funny and then also how to draw in a more uh, simplistic uh, manner. Mm. Well, I mean, it, it, it works. I think, uh, I mean, I was, you know, I've been reading the, the strips and I'm thinking, well, you know, there's so much um, really fun little things. I mean, you got, if you look at this, this little, where are we here? Yeah. Just yeah. those two images, like between, is it, is it, are there two rats there? That's, uh, that's, uh, well, they're mice, but I mean, you know, you could, you could confuse that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you just look at the two, uh, two different emotions there, you know, I love that. I think it's really cool. This is what I like about animation and uh, as well as anime and cartoons because, you know, um, I, I'm watching American Dead Hard Out right now because there's some so many fun stuff in it. And, yeah. you know, and um, because, like I said, I'm like, humor is a really good thing right now when everybody's sort of, you know, stuck at home and they don't want to be thinking about serious things that yeah. are happening yeah. around them it's a good time to escape and do something funny. And I think yeah. Henry is a great book to do that. Now this is a, there's not a kid's book. It's more of a teen, uh, teen, teenage. Yeah, I uh, had to put that on there. <laughs> Just because like at conventions, people would be like, Oh, it's a hamster book. I was like, no, please don't buy this. <laughs> yeah, don't buy for your kids. Buy for yourself. <laughs> buy for yourself. Don't buy yeah. for your children. Teenagers, maybe. Right. Young, so young you people. said you're working on uh, issue three right now. So, with these issues, are they complete on their own, or is, is there an arc storyline? Yeah, through there's, the there's a, a bit of a story, yeah. Uh, it's just pretty much, at the moment, uh, Henry and his uh, friends uh, trying to survive down in the, in the sewers after a cataclysmic uh, mm. uh, start to their adventure. Uh, and it's pretty much like figuring out Henry's past. Uh, and why, like, why, why is there a cyber cybernetically, you know, cybernetic hamster in the sewers just running around? And also, why are the sewers full of radioactive rats and stuff like that? Like, th that's stuff that will evolve over time. Uh, yeah. But I, it's, I'm keeping it very small world at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure at some point it'll branch out into, like, the surface and, like, the, the deltas and, you know, different areas. And, like, what's going on up there? Like, why, you know, why is it? you know so <laughs> weird down here so yeah i love this cover of this character like i mean you know straight away you know this this is an you know mature book because the guy's drinking right? yeah. <laughs> you know, and he's not he's not a happy looking chap and um and you put out a image on instagram and on of course on facebook about his uh anatomy like inside you know his body oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. that was a really good image i thought that was amazing to see inside of his guts and stuff as a, you know, and yeah. it's just, uh, it's not, not usually done unless it's like, you know, robots and stuff, but here yeah. you are, you think, Oh, this is just a normal person. I mean, normal, <laughs> you know, biological, um, um, animal. And yet then inside there's all this, like you're saying, like, uh, cybernetics. And yeah. that was really cool. Um, so you've got three issues and as we're saying, like, um, are they, uh, it's each issue standalone story, or uh, the first one is pretty much, and the second one is pretty much. But the 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 I mean the third one, the third one is pretty much the 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 second one is kind of like introducing the the other characters and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. So the three uh, mice that were in the first one that are like kind of bothering him the whole time, they end up finding him again, and then th those three are going to become a uh, you know they're sidekicks of sorts <laughs> trouble troublemakers sidekicks who knows maybe you know that kind of thing so the second one is more of like an interlude and then the third one is like it's kind of standalone you know just like How bridging many, them. Uh, is this like are you looking at this as an ongoing series or are you going to stop at like about six and do another set or um i i we had arcs in place uh but we're i mean it's all over the place <laughs> <laughs> like we're not this is this is definitely my uh uh me just doing it for me mostly so mm -hmm. I, I when i'm ready to draw it i draw it and when i uh can't then if i if i think it's not good enough i won't release it you know right. which isn't a great way to do stuff but that's why it's not my main source of income <laughs> so um 
are you seeing this going in other ways like with animation or something like that uh yes that is something i would love uh if i if i created this series enough uh, i would love to see it like as at least a mini series on like adultswim.com or something like yeah. that just something or, or on my own you know like uh i've been studying uh, uh storyboarding and animation and stuff and if i want to do my own short at some point i would yeah i would love to do that because that would be great because i i would i would be very excited to do like a very actiony but then also goofy comic book or yeah. show well i mean at the moment i mean um i saw that there's a new show called buck and um buck and buddy which is kind of like a stupid name for a sh series uh, right like buck buddy it just, oh yeah it's yeah, a little cool yeah. you know, if, you're, if you're an adult you're thinking uh <laughs> a little close yeah i saw i, I saw a uh and it's it's an all right show it's a five minutes it's five minutes uh show and uh animated show and it's basically taking the ice age character right at the start there uh with the with the acorn right uh, and, oh yeah the uh, the little scrat i think his name is yeah scrat and so um then they're building him in uh, like they're taking that and then putting another character with it and it's that story over Just and over you know, the first, yeah like him trying like to get book. the nut <laughs> yeah so they made that into a show it's supposed to be like 54 episodes of five minute shows oh and that's I, fun it's yeah i like short animations and i think um have you heard of a program called manga um not manga so it used to be called Kevin clip studio paint uh yes i actually uh, that's what i use for uh making henry it's actually the only thing i use uh me, that for yeah, me too. Is, i yeah. use i use the man uh well it used to be manga studio yes but now it's clip studio paint yeah uh, i think the one i have is still manga studio but i think uh at least it's called that on my computer <laughs> yeah but so, right uh, now i mostly okay. use the yeah go ahead so it's got a built-in animation suite. If you go, prof uh, if you go to ex um, a a expert level, there, it's uh -huh. got a built-in um, animation suite on it. So that's something I'm looking at. Uh, you know, working with some um, with a um, teddy bear one. I'm looking at doing uh, cartoon stuff. But I mean, I think the possible like we were just talking off-screen before uh, on Skype about how things that you are able to do between two, three people on your own is going to, you know. It's it's going to be the way a lot of things, a lot of um, okay. industries going to survive now because of the fact that you're supposed to have social distancing and you can't make mo movies, live yeah. live action movies without social distancing or uh, with social distancing. Yeah, and so Unless you just like filmed yourself. <laughs> yeah. So online, well, like you're saying, you were saying that digital content creators are probably, you know. Uh, um, in a bit bigger demand so animation you know would be the way to go but even if you're looking at something like i'm like a 30 minute short you know that's people can rip that together within a week in a couple of weeks <laughs> uh and oh well, yeah and so well, yeah I, I think we're uh when it comes to animation and stuff like that uh i think we're gonna personally uh, i think there's gonna be a new golden age of animation coming because mm. of anyone with like you don't even need that much money anymore uh yeah. and it's just like a group of like five people it's it's becoming so much more affordable and quicker uh yeah. to animate and to produce things now there's going to be a lot of garbage yeah. <laughs> like just heaps of garbage out there but because yeah. there is so much there will be i think some fantastic uh stuff coming our way which is really exciting and just as a media like i i prefer watching if if they're good if i i would rather watch cartoons than live action stuff if you know they have to be good though <laughs> because there's more humor in it than like in live action stuff because uh they can't that when it comes to live action stuff it's a hit and miss when it comes to uh cartoons you can keep going oh draw it this way draw it this way if you're doing live yeah, action, it's like, oh, you got to call so and so's agent up, make sure he's available. Now you got to make sure the car's there to pick him up. What are, <laughs> what's this? What's his dietary needs? Uh, you know, wh what's the cl uh, make sure the f um, the costume designer is ready. Make sure he's ready for makeup. Yeah, oh, hey, uh, 
yeah hey uh hey uh animator color that in for me cool done <laughs> wow i mean there's a lot <laughs> <laughs> it goes into doing animation like that's yeah, why i'm not an animator right now uh yeah. it's so hard to like i mean i've done animation before i i studied it uh uh briefly in college as well mm -hmm. uh and i've done like some pixel animation every once in a while just yeah. for fun uh but like uh just getting like the right movement and like in the right angles is it's a very you know it's tedious and it's hard, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I think, I mean, the other thing is that you can have that, uh, you know, you can have that whole DC uh, animated movies look, or you can just go for your, uh, uh, was it coffee and caffeine? Oh, like, uh, the, uh, like the stressed out coffee character or something like that, or, you know, caffeinated. Oh something or yeah, you can, I've seen a few or you can have like... stick figures and still yeah <laughs> yeah and still have that like maybe six six um frames six yeah six <laughs> frames per second rather than the 24 frames you know like in movies or you can have a 12 frames i don't think people if it's a good story if the characters look good people aren't going to worry about 24 frames they could be happy with six frames as yeah. long as it's as long as the delivery of the story and as long as the story is important. Like, I mean, like I was saying that Buck Buddy one, like, right. Uh, Buck and Buddy. Um, yeah. It's got all the nice looking things, but it, uh, it look, the story looked like it's just a rip off of another story. Yeah. And I was like, well, this isn't interesting for me for your first episode. Why don't yeah. you give me your best episode as your first episode? Because, you know, and give me a good story that gets me, you know, even though it's five minutes, it's still going to make me want to come back. And I think if you look at Rick and Morty, right? Mm. I, I've watched that three times yeah. because it's, you know, uh, like the each season about almost three times, if not, tw uh, you know, twice. Um, so because the story is so good, you can keep watching it, keep watching it. And even that's the thing of staying power of a good story that you can keep watching it. So, yeah, I mean, like, so, are you looking at, I mean, back to Henry, um, because it, you're doing a lot of black or white, um, are, are you looking at coloring these um, comic books as well or just leaving it black and white? Um, well, when I first started, I definitely prefer, I always preferred black and white comic books. I loved uh, the Sin City comic books from Frank Miller mm -hmm. and uh, Sergio Toppi's uh, uh, comics are always beautiful to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, mine, not so much, but... <laughs> Uh, and it also was I, I didn't have I, I didn't have a lot of time and I still really don't mm. uh, to work on this. And if I don't just get it done, uh, like if I it, it won't ever happen. So doing it in black and white was kind of the means to an end. Like I just had to like I can get it done. Uh, it'll look good. At least it's yeah. it's it's clear. At least I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, so yeah, if I ever really wanted to, uh, I could go back and recolor them and like maybe, probably maybe uh, if I get like six done, uh, release them as a trade, but then recolor all of it. So make a colored trade version yeah. or pay someone to do it, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, right now, no, it's not going to be colored. <laughs> I'll do the covers, but I'm not doing the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's another ball game on its own, isn't it? It's like a, a lot of hard work to just decide which coloring, um, you know, uh, how you want to make it look, and each character having their col um, colors to make sure that they all blend in and the same. And I found the same thing doing, with, uh, you know, working on Critical. It's like I can do a couple flats, and then I go, well, I decide I, I don't like that look, and then now. Yeah. But if you get a colorist into it, they know exactly how that looks, and they'll go, well. What about this? What about this? And then they can carry on with it. But if you're not, yeah. if you're not, uh, you know, I can paint and stuff with color, fine. But when it comes to coloring a comic book, it's a whole new ball game. And a lot it's of just think, a lot of think about it. lighting and what area they're in. How simple do you want to make it? How complicated mm -hmm. do you want to make it? I mean, like, do you want the characters to like have different, are they the same exact color in every frame, or do they get different colors because it's dark out? You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it's it's something I, I i didn't have time to think about while making these uh and mm. i and i still don't <laughs> so 
But yeah. Right. So um, you you work with a gentleman named um, Brian Salazar as the um, as the writer on this. So how, yeah. how's your collaboration with trying to say this is what I want, and how do you find him? Um, uh, Ryan Salazar was a uh, actually a friend of my my wife's. So uh, meeting him through her was really easy, and then we became friends. Uh, and then uh, we hung out a bunch and noticed we had similar taste. Uh, and I started, you know, I started making this comic, and I was like, and I knew he was a writer of some sort or another. Uh, and he hadn't, and he was kind of like between jobs anyway, <laughs> as as was I at the time of when creating Henry. Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, hey, do you want to like help me? Because I can't write. Like I I can do I can do dialogue. Yep. Uh, pretty well like back and forth kind of stuff or or and, and i can get an idea of what i want but i can't like put it all together do you want to do that and he ended uh, we ended up talking for a while and uh, uh he ended up liking the idea a lot yep. uh he thought it was funny and me and him have very similar uh pretty similar humor at least so it was very easy to uh i don't know it, it worked pretty well i i enjoy i enjoyed uh 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 talking uh Cause we would just like sit there and yammer for like an hours mm. about like things we wanted to do. Uh, but you know, it's just, it was good. It was, it was a good uh, writing uh, relationship at least. I just well, wasn't in, you know, it's a good, it looks like it, it looks like, I mean, it's, it looks like a good partnership between the two of you because I mean, it delivers on what you're trying to say uh, yeah. and the story you're trying to tell. And it's a really good story. And I think, uh, you know, that's why uh, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to include this in Sunspot because, you know, it'd be a great way to show people what we can put out um, um, through Rise and Comics as well through, you know, what we're doing ourselves. And uh, talk about Rise and Comics, you were a former CEO of Rise and Comics. So how long were you um, the CEO there? I think it was about a year. Uh, I remember Hawk was having, there was a lot going on in his life at the time. Uh, and yeah. he wasn't able to focus on what he was, uh, you know, he being in charge of the company. Uh, yeah. it, was, it was hard for him to pull triggers on like anything. Uh, so he suggested that I take over in the interim uh, yeah. to so I could like make decisions and stuff like that. So I ended up yeah. I ended up staying on for a while. Uh, and then my life got all over the place. <laughs> and I just yeah. like it was, I had no time for Rising Sun. Uh so I was like, I like I was it was irresponsible for me to be CEO still. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, here, I, I can't take the reins anymore because I'm not making decisions and I can't make calls and all that stuff. And and Hawk has a lot of vision uh, for where he wants to go with it. Uh, and now that his life is settled down again, uh, he's definitely uh, a good uh, fit for it. Just because he's at least got he's got plans on expanding. I was pretty much holding the ship together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was making sure I was making sure the the trains run on time, but I I didn't you know know where they were going. So right. So now that we're in uh, like um you guys are on like level three compared to us in level four in lockdown, so you guys are still able to move around a bit. Uh, where you are, um, are you still able to work, or are you still you know confined to home? Um, right now, let's see. I uh I was a fabricator. Uh, mm -hmm. so that means I have to go places and work with other people. Uh, so right now I'm definitely not in need of, <laughs> but, uh, for, fortunately my, uh, my wife, uh, works solely through the, uh, the interwebs. Uh, and she's, she's an animator for, right. uh, the games work from home. She was able to take her tower and bring it in. So we're in a pretty good situation. We're, we're fortunate. We're very, very fortunate to be in a, a decent, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that aren't uh, mm -hmm. in such great, you know, waters. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, that's us. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still looking sure. on. Uh, on okay. So that's all for us for today. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave it with that. And um, hopefully you guys are keeping safe. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is J um, Jason Long. Any uh, final words? Um, well, uh, put that uh, read Henry. It's funny, at least in these weird times. I mean, it's, it's dark funny, but that's kind of what we need right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks a bunch, uh, for having me on the, uh, uh, your stream here. And, uh, 
Uh, I hope you got it over there in New Zealand too. All right, so <laughs> hopefully we'll. So all be people soon. can read this uh, oh, on um, risesandcomics dot com, and um, it's available. Um, is the first two issues available through drive through and um, Amazon for digitally? Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, drive through definitely did. Uh, I think Amazon, did, but I, I'd have to check that. All right. It looks like we're losing um, Jason, so we're going to cut this short, guys. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, check out risesandcomics.com, uh, and uh, hopefully. Yeah, you get um, you decide to read the book, and it is funny. If you want to check it out, go into risesandcomics dot com and have a look at what what else is there. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the next uh, stream uh, about four o'clock this afternoon. I've got an interview with a um, uh, with an artist, an airbrush um, artist, a professional person. And so, uh check us out on uh, wherever you are on Instagram, um, on Facebook, and on Twitter. See you guys next time.